Hi everyone, welcome back to History Jacksonville and welcome to the Season 8 premiere. Today we're focusing on Jacksonville International Airport from 1968 up to the current day. Here we see a picture of what was then the new Jacksonville International Airport, JIA. This picture was taken in May of 1968 and here we see the plaque for JIA and we see that the Jacksonville International Airport was dedicated on Sunday, September the 1st, 1968. And here in this picture, you see everyone has gathered to see the dedication of the airport. And there's a guy on a news truck taking a picture, or actually uh, filming uh, for local television. And there, at this uh, dedication, there was also an open house and people got a chance to go out onto uh, the tarmacs and take a look at some of the different planes. And here we see the airport as it was in the late 1960s. We see the long corridor. And so on the morning, actually just after midnight, on October 26, 1968, an Eastern Airlines flight landed and became the first flight to land at JIA. Previously, uh, airplanes uh, had landed at Imason Field, at Imason Airport. So here we see the people arriving at the newly opened Jacksonville International Airport. They were met by city officials and served cake for those that wanted it. And so we see that GIA has opened for business. We go into the early 1970s and we see a different airport that, uh, than that, that of which we know of now. Here we see baggage claim. This is a picture from 1974. National Airlines doesn't even exist anymore. Eastern Airlines had uh, a lot of uh, planes going in and out of JIA. Delta, we call legacy national carrier. This is a 1979 picture and this, I guess this more than anything when I would arrive at the airport, of course you have to decide are you leaving are you picking someone up <laughs> or are you uh, so and here you have the map the old map of the airport from 1980 and we see Air Force One and we see a Pan Am jet this was back in July of 1980 when President Jimmy Carter came to Jacksonville to campaign for re-election there's an Eastern Airlines jet in 1982 as you can see, GIA was able to accommodate jets really well, replaced Imason uh, back in the, the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and early, early to mid-1960s, people would go in at Imason. But here we have all these different uh, jets and planes going to and fro. There's old Continental Airlines, no longer in business. People Express, in the early 1980s, deregulation came, and so that enabled uh, no-frills carriers, airline carriers, to, uh, to offer low fares and set off fare wars, and new companies came about. Some older companies failed. Here we see a nice brochure. And then, later on, the airport was renovated. So you're getting a chance now to look at more recent photos of JIA. The JIA I've uh, known more recently. One thing I really liked is the use of sunlight during the day. Uh, I really uh, enjoyed the, the remodeling, the renovation of the airport. 
there were some actually some really good improvements. And here we see generally as it is now. So I want to thank you for watching this season premiere of History Jacksonville. I've got a lot to bring you this season. Please stay tuned to the Jack's Life channel. Jack's 86 will be coming up to you in October. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you later.